Hello students, I'm Ritu Malik, a facilitator at ML Khanna DAV Public School, Dwarka, Sector 6. Students, today we are going to read a very interesting poem from the unit Animal World. The title of the poem is At the Zoo. Before we start the poem, I would like to tell you about the code of conduct that we should follow while visiting a zoo. Students, a visit to a zoo is always very interesting, but it can prove to be very dangerous if we do not behave properly at the zoo. As you can see in these pictures, how visitors are troubling the animals. Students, never forget that animals are as sensitive as humans. Just as you wouldn't like being pelted with stones, teased or attacked, an animal wouldn't either. Animals also feel bad. So treat animals as you would treat a human, perhaps with more caution because they have natural fighting reflexes that can cause damage to you. Here are a few signboards that we always find at the zoo. We should read them properly and behave accordingly. Like, we should not tease the animals. We should not make weird sounds to irritate them. We should not go too close to the cages of the animals. We should not try to feed the animals. We should not put our hands inside their cages. And we should never poke animals with a stick or any such object. I hope you all will keep these points in your mind while visiting a zoo. Now, let's have a look at the meaning of a few difficult words that you'll come across the poem. The first word is hump, which means round projected part of a camel, as you can see in the picture. The next word is strutting. It means moving about proudly, as shown in the picture. The next word is noble. Noble means something or someone that deserves praise. In this poem, you will also find some rhyming words. Rhyming words are the words that end with the same sound. For example, make and cake, sheet and feet. Now, it's time to read the poem composed by Aline Mathias. So, let's start. Be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo. In this stanza, the rhyming words are do and zoo. Don't make fun of the camel's hump. He's very proud of his noble bump. In this stanza, the rhyming words are hump and bump. Don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee. He thinks he's as wise as you or me. In this stanza, the rhyming words are chimpanzee and me. In the next stanza, and the penguins strutting round the lake can understand remarks you make. Here, the rhyming words are lake and make. Treat them as well as they do you. And you'll always be welcome at the zoo. In this stanza, the rhyming words are you and zoo. I hope. 
you all enjoyed reading this poem thank you